worst, the worst, bitch. That's what we, or I would say, I more or less represent. Just kind of a card there. The Supreme Court is a tyrant. Give me some glasses. So this is the comparing abortion to slavery argument. Yeah, inhumane act of human Discrimination whether of color, skin, or age. Stage one. I hear a lot of people say that uh, Mar Go ahead. Oh, I hear a lot of people mention that Margaret Sanger, like there's a lot of stuff said about Margaret Sanger that she was like a eugenicist and stuff like that. Is that is that true? Like unbiased the best, like the best way is that to look for it, even looks at both sides of even the Republican Party and their faults as well as the Democrat is an anti or anti no. Those guys Mafa, are th those guys are off the spectrum. Mafa, those guys are Mafa twenty one. That's black genocide in the twenty first century. Uh, great documentary. They show us actually the documentations of what you're asking about. Well, now, and, and then you can do your own investigation. I think well, Planned Parenthood in general seems to provide birth control to people, which prevents abortion, right? There's that. There's also that argument, right? So it could be argued that they prevent a lot more abortions than they cause. Yeah, that's the way to make you know what I mean? A more palatable to rip somebody apart, because actually it has been noted to where even their birth control is somewhat watered down. Yeah. So it make it. Sexual promiscuity is very important for them to keep their business alive. Well, I mean, well then, well then, business is good because human beings are to be a human being is to desire promiscuity. It's not because yeah, of it's not yeah, because yeah, of that's a natural nature. The Bible talks it's, about it's that. not because of uh, birth control. It's because well, pe no, people are people. I mean, but yeah, but yeah. they like to play into that sinful nature that we like to promiscuity. It's because I was that man. Now I have Hell to, yeah, uh, man! You're partying. Yeah, well, that's what I once was. But see, this is what I'm saying. Oh, you're born again. Huh? Uh, yeah. I'm see, these anti these again. these Antifa guys, they say they're woke. That's their version yeah, of. Well, uh, they pulled up earlier. Oh, they did. Here since at seven o'clock. Is that theirs? This is one of them, and one there. They right away pulled off their license plate. So I called the police. They came and checked out the cars, and they're just circling. Around. Those guys, like, I actually agree with them on abortion, sort of, but they're thuggish. Well, I, they don't agree I mean, with me on abortion. That's why they're thuggish. But if you don't respect life in the womb, that's where you can go to the extreme. I mean, uh, there's there's other ways to respect life by being anti-war, anti, you know, all, all this other stuff. That I, in my opinion, in my opinion, the scale is sort of off. But we're going back to where I was. Abortion is I don't the, know. To where I can reflect of because I had two abortions, if you could say indirectly, because my was yeah, party on, dude. Weekend, if I didn't take a different woman home every weekend, I didn't have a weekend. And you're going yeah, yeah, yeah. baby. So that's what I was. <laughs> I was like that 18 year old till I was 40 years that's old. That's what's almost. up. But I, but understanding. The emptiness with that it depends on well i'm sorry that's what I, that's what i'm saying with, with i and understanding two of my my biological children that were aborted that i know of there could have been probably more and i don't have any biological children now now i have three children to call me dad more or less adopted but um nice yeah it is real nice but um, i i'm reflecting of what this industry is really based about is that what i just said promiscuity to continue to flourish and therefore I was part of breakdown of family not only I slept with women that were not my wife I slept with women I, this is to my well, did, I mean did you have I access slept, did, did you have access to birth control and I whatnot slipped, did you I, actually yes but anyway did you pull actually, out did you actually to my shame <laughs> a couple of them were still even married uh, okay, now you're recording this, but I'm I'm live streaming actually. Shame. We're live with 29 viewers yes. right now. Well, to my shame, to where I had to realize I was part of the problem and a part of break up a family, let alone my children being aborted. This, when, when couples have abortion, the 75% chance of rate that those couples will not survive whether they're married or not. Let's, I mean, that's a correlation causation argument. Yeah, there's that's a there correlation. Is. Correlation, you got to think about that. Well, you're, you're, that's implying, that, you're implying that it's causation ra rather well, actually, than correlation. I believe, as, even as the Bible says, we all have a conscience of right and wrong. It, it's also been shown that taking birth control uh, is a board causes breast cancer women. You know, oh, yeah? There, yeah, there is because the body's anymore. preparing for that child. And when, the body, when that child's just exterminated through that chemical pest, that human pesticide, and did scourge, and it breaks down the body for what it was just prepared for. Now, so abortion, birth control, birth abortion. control is abortion. Is that what you're well, saying? It, it can be abortifacient because it does not stop the sperm from fertilizing the egg. It stops that that zygote. Now the child has been conceived, or you could say, been uh, um, 
I don't think on Zygo any. Stage. I don't think on any philosophical level I could equate the value of a Zygo with the value of a fully well, developed that, human. That's There's because, no possible way. That's because we don't give that full understanding how we're made in the miracle of miracle from God. We don't God killed a bunch of people, man. Come on. Yeah. yeah well, God, God, God killed well, people in the Bible. Well, that's God. God. We're not. Okay. <laughs> God can take life. He can take it away. I will have uh, mercy on whom I have there's, mercy. There's a sophistry. So, Come well, on, yeah. man. Well, I'm just saying. But we want to be our own gods. Mm -hmm. Just like we want to... That's, how, that's why I gave you that card. Because... I've seen that have, before. There's a guy walking around UWM handing out the same sure, sort sure. of that, that, And that's pamphlet. the tyranny of the human nature that we <laughs> want to be do dominant over human beings. Interesting. Yes. I would consider it domination to like force a woman to go into labor against her will. That would be my version of force. If a woman decides to go with a man, I think both man and woman have to take responsibility for what they do in that bed. It Interesting point. So yes. think of it this way. Like if you go, let's say you go rock climbing, right? And you slip, right? You start, fall, you're about to fall to your doom, right? It sounds like what you're saying is that rock climber should have known the potential consequences, and we should just well, kick it. We should just kick him. Good, let's just let's just kick him off the cliff that's because actually because a good he, example. I ride. <laughs> I, I ride a really? I ride Wait, a you think that we should kick people no, off no, the cliff no, if no, they're no, struggling? No, I'm not saying that. No, no. Come on, dude. I, I cut you off before you made that point. I ride a motorcycle without a helmet. But the notion seems I to be that, that if, I know there's a consequence. If there's potential consequences to an action, that people should automatically have to suffer those consequences. Let's say it's automatic. Like that seems a little. That seems. I suffered the consequences, understanding that I will not have biological children on my own unless I go outside of my wife who's now past age. And I'm not going to do that. Adoption you know, there's, is a there good there option, yeah. consequences I had to receive from my choices. Even there's venereal diseases that come into play when you when you are promiscuity. And yet, so if someone catches, so what? So if someone catches a venereal disease, we shouldn't like treat it oh, or no, cure, cure them? No, no, no. I'm not saying that either. Well, they should have known the consequences. They should have known the consequences. Suffer the consequences. Suffer the consequences. The responsibility of having sexual promiscuity, and there's a person conceived because they're not they're not conceived with a puppy or a, or a kit, kitty cat. They're conceived another human being. I would say the you man can make has that that child has that man's blood that man's blood type is in that child. I draw the line at like 20 some odd weeks. Well, that's then, that's okay. when the brain activity about, starts and then you can 20 actually... 20 weeks, 20 weeks, you know. and 20 weeks and 23 hours. I Just would... before the 24. Does that I... child should die? No, I mean, it's okay, brain no, activity. Right. It's brain How activity. About 20... The line is clearly drawn, bro. Okay, I'm saying, I'm saying, brain act, activity brain activity. At four weeks, there's brain activity yeah, at four weeks. weeks. You sure about that? Yeah, because yeah. the, the nerve endings are being developed. Really like, like the hardest beating, a heart beating. You know, like, and not, like the only with the heart something beating. resembling like a nerve, you know, like perception of pain. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Well, again, that's. Being and by the way, and by the way, my my platform ensures the least amount of abortions anyway. So I'm saying we should make birth control as plentiful as Skittles. That's what I'm saying. Again, All right. This, no matter no matter how we do it through public or private donation. The best way to have least amount of abortions as possible is actually bring the morality of what a man is. <laughs> no, you giggle. No, Absence no, only no, education does not fucking work, dude. You chuckle oh, and mock no, it doesn't. No, it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous, listen, dude. It's not be like the man I was. <sighs> is growing up in the '60s and '70s. Thinking that you know, what made a man is how many women you could be with. No, I agree with that. Okay, I agree with that. But that, that, that makes you a man. Or no, no, no. That that no that that the okay. amount of people you sleep with does not make a man. Okay. I, in order I, to minimize per se of abortions, which it should be abolished, I want to note that. But the min per se to minimize is the men actually honor women and not to lie with the woman till he takes a covenant before God in marriage that he will honor her till his death and his he'd have his life taken before hers and he would lay his very life down for her and if there were men like that these places wouldn't exist let alone all the sexual transmitted diseases all the consequences that come in if truly men so if humans women, weren't human if truly men then... honored women okay and honored them in a covenant marriage and stayed only with that one woman and made that marriage bed holy and honorable then we wouldn't have half the problems we have today. I think so so you actually think we it's it's okay to kill kill a baby. Yep. <laughs> well, and at least you called it a baby. I don't I don't think it's a baby. Just, huh? I don't think it's a baby. Well then 
Why not? Why it's a gamete. Say? It's a zygote. It's, it's no, you know, it's not. Those are scientific words. Zygotes no, it's are not. Scientific words. So is uh, fetus. fetus is like Birth control for everyone, and then you won't have to whine about fucking abortion. Let's be real here. You know, you come know, on, come on, I, dude. I, you know what? You're right. Birth control, and you know what the birth control is? It's called marriage. And don't come uh, on, man. No, Again I'm with this. Saying, I'm telling you. And here comes sex half of half of a, half no, of. Uh, you, see, here's what you don't understand. No, 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 no I'm not getting half. You. Half of uh, marriages end, or over half of marriages yes. end in divorce. So well, that's right, because nobody sanctifies marriage anymore. Exactly what I was saying to you over there. Like you I'm said, not, some of the women I was with were still married. To my shame. I was a cause of the problem. Marriage isn't sanctified anymore. It's considered. Well, it's, you it doesn't seem like. It, well, it doesn't seem. It doesn't seem like the the presence or lack of marriage was the problem. It seemed like your actions was the problem. Well, not, well that comes you're hand right. in hand. No, he's right. Yeah, he's he right. Is. Your actions and and what it is about our actions. This goes to a bigger issue. I think if our actions have access to birth control, it's going to be a lot better for everybody. That's what I think. Well, you know, birth control would be better than birth control by killing something. If you want to call it, fine. if you want to call it that, fine. Even if I go by that, it's better to have a fuckload of birth control. Front loaded, I would agree. There but you I go. Would say the ultimate best birth control is the facial. Pardon? The facial. The facial. <laughs> I'm not tracking with you. What do you mean the facial? The pullout method, man. Oh. oh. I'm just kidding. Who is the prophet that did that? He put a semen on the ground. Um, um, Someone in the Bible did that. Yeah. 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 In, 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 I think a lot of a lot a lot of people having a good time have done that one. You know that that maneuver. That does uh, <laughs> <laughs> I realize that. I very, very, but if you, know, if you if you combine out scouts before the cavalry arrives, if okay. you combine if you combine birth control like uh, birth control pills, condoms, and pull out, your chances are basically zero. No. Yeah. Not yeah. They pull are. Out. Not the pull out. All three, all three at the same time. Your chances of pre impregnating someone are null, basically. So that's what I'm encouraging. All right, rather than accosting women for getting abortions, maybe because that's not even necessarily what they're doing in there. Oh, uh, it is. It, it is. It is a big part of it, but it's not everything. You know. Same with plan. Same with Planned Parenthood. They have like pap smears, birth control, all this crap that I, I'm a man. I don't really know about, but you know. Anyway, uh, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's the party line. But if you talk to people who have worked in the clinics, that's not what goes on. It's all about the killing of, of babies. Really and do you know the history of Planned Parenthood? Yeah, uh, something about Margaret Sanger being a eugenicist. I, I was asking if that's a bias or if that's true. But. That's not a bias, my friend. Yeah, please. And do you know why she wanted to do that? She's racist. Yeah. She said. Not well, just, she said so. So I she mean, hates. If she's true, she then hated black people. But anyway, look that up. Promise me, do that. It's black genocide, 21st century. You just Google a black genocide, that video comes up. I'm serious. It's good, good documentation when you investigate. So can I ask, are, are you filming? I'm live streaming. Yeah, we got uh, 42 live viewers right now. You're actually wasting your film on my face. The film. camera hasn't broken yet. <laughs> it's, it's battery life. It's, uh, you know. These guys are taking a sweet ass time so far. Well, they're probably waiting for the Catholics to come up. There's some Catholics to come up with this big cross. That's on, they're in. on Good Friday, there's a yeah. local parish, yeah. and they come and they stand and they pray. Yeah, the dudes with the wizard outfits. Yeah, the wizard. Outfits. I haven't. I've been here a couple of years on Good Friday, and I haven't seen the wizard outfit yet. Yeah, it's pretty snazzy. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. You know, that come with oh, the priest, <laughs> the priest garments, the priest garments. We're we're not Catholic. Right? Disagree with everything about abortion that you believe in pretty much so, so you believe that it's okay to kill a baby take a life if if a baby as you put it is inside of you and you want it out i think you have a, the right to do that holy shit <laughs> so why <now>? <laughs> subscribe bitch